Hello, this is John back again with another exciting episode of John Reviews Some Dumb Food That No One Asked Him About. And in today's episode, we got Chuck E. Cheese Frozen Pepperoni Pizza. It only comes in two flavors, cheese and pepperoni. So I got the pepperoni because I think that'll cover the cheese flavor as well. Chuck E. Cheese, known for their germ spreading ball pit and their subpar pizza and notably for trying to scam people during the pandemic by creating a place called Pasquale's that delivered Chuck E. Cheese pizza under a different name and Pasquale is like I think actually oops that chef that plays the drums there I think that's what uh, pa officially Pasquale, according to the Chuck E. Cheese canon. Um, I don't know if I, I know any of the other names, but uh, just got a maze on it and a ticket where you could bring this to a Chuck E. Cheese and get 250 free e tickets. But of you, of course, you have to buy food when you get there as well. So you have to buy this food, and you have to buy their food. There. It's made with 100% real mozzarella and an excellent source of calcium. Those are the two best notable things they can put on there. Uh, keep frozen. Not ready to eat. Cook thoroughly. Um, here's the ingredients if you're worried about what's in it. Um, right here it says, distributed by... Flatlanders Food LLC, and it has an address there in Austin, Texas. I looked it up, and I went to Google Maps, and that address goes to a uh, little shopping strip center. It had like a a bakery that sold mini pies, a family wellness center, a nail salon, and other things that you would find in little uh, small little strip malls. Nowhere did it have any signs that said uh, Flatlander Foods um, or even looked like a place that was a food distributor. That They looked like little little shops that you would find in a strip mall. Anyway, that's um, this is an officially licensed product. So, this might not really have any relation to the real Chuck E. Cheese pizza because it says that it's licensed. Usually licensed means someplace paid to put this name on here and this face on here and that's basically the relationship they had there and CEC Entertainment which is Chuck E. Cheese said okay we'll take your money and here's some uh, pictures that you can put in your box to make it look official and you can even print a little coupon on there for 250 e-tickets. 250 probably is, is a number that probably sounds big enough that it'll get you in the door. But once you get there, it's like 250 will get you like one of the little plastic rings um, that kids never use and will be thrown out within a week or lost under the couch. But let's go ahead and do this dumb review and see what uh, Chuck E. Cheese frozen pizza tastes like. I haven't had a real Chuck E. Cheese pizza in a while. Um, probably at least five years. I think the last time I went in Chuck E. Cheese was for a birthday party of some kid that uh, I think now might be in college. Um, I had the idea of trying to do the do like a, a comparison video where I ordered a Chuck E. Cheese pizza and I ordered a Pasquale's pizza and see if there's any noticeable difference at all. Um, the bad part of that, that is they don't sell anything less than a 14 inch pizza and they're like $15 for the cheaper ones. So that means I would pay $30 plus tax and plus delivery or driving out there to get it. Nothing's very close to me anyway for what I imagine to be two highly subpar pizzas and yeah so I haven't done that it's still kind of an idea in the back burner maybe it'll happen but I wouldn't 
say that as a guarantee at all. Let's try this pizza. Here it is in front of me. As the box falls on the ground. And you can see it is uh, probably around 14 inches. All the little pepperonis on there, all the cheese is on there. Here's what the undercarriage looks like. It has a, a cornmeal kind of dusting look on the bottom. Little flop to it. Let's go ahead and taste it. Not much flavor. Well, I can't say I was, I'm disappointed because it basically tastes exactly how you might think. Very cheap. And uh, let me bear with me for one second because I want to see how much I paid for this thing. Six ninety nine. That's an eighteen point five five ounce pizza. So seven dollars for this. Is it worth it? Not at all. Um, for six ninety nine, you get a little Caesar pizza, and that's just as bad, but not frozen. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and taste just like some individual pieces of this to see. If there's really any redeemable qualities from this, let's try pepperoni. That is the blandest pepperoni I've ever had in my life. Pepperonis are supposed to have like some kind of spice to them, right? These are beef and pork. It doesn't taste beefy, doesn't taste porky. There's like no spice in it at all. Let's see if I can get a, a double pepperoni. Two pepperonis. I could stack these pepperonis up. And all of them. And I'd still get barely any flavor at all. It does look like, I don't know if you can see from here, if I look at here, I can see little specks. Specks don't necessarily mean seasoning or flavor, but they're there. Let me get some of the sauce. Again, blandness, the cheese. really nothing the cheese has a slight saltiness to it and that's about it the sauce doesn't even taste like tomatoes it just tastes like nothing the pepperoni tastes like nothing the slight saltiness to the the cheese the uh, the crust The bottom of there, it's just super dry. Are there any redeemable qualities to this? Not at all. This is a licensed product from a company that makes bad pizza 
to a company that effectively runs out of maybe the back of a uh, strip mall store and uses bad ingredients. Oh, also, this is a uh, only available at uh, Kroger stores. Of course, Kroger owns other stores like Mariano's, which didn't have this, but uh, I found it at a Food for Less uh, because Food for Less is also a Kroger owned store. Uh, in Chicago, there's no really Kroger Kroger stores, but they have other stores that carry Kroger products. And that's where I found this. And uh, I guess it's food. And if less means less flavor, then it's at the right place. The let me pick it up because I remember it dropped down. Chuck E. Cheese pepperoni pizza frozen. It's not even worth 250 e ticket tickets. Like if this was behind the thing for 250 e tickets, she probably get the plastic ring instead. Probably has more flavor. So Chuck E. Cheese frozen pizza. You're getting a two out of ten. Um, more than one because it was at least edible it didn't taste like grossness so since I was able to eat it and not throw up there's your point two out of ten hope you enjoyed this dumb food review we'll see you on the next one maybe hopefully it's less dumb than this bye